Welcome everyone to the farm in Palo Alto, home to the Stanford Cardinal and a legend such as Elway, Luck, and McCaffrey, all of whom went through battles like the one we'll see in this one. We believe we've got a great one in store today, and we've got a team that makes it into the top 25. Now when you go on the road, that's when you prove you belong. As we'll see a team fresh and ready to go off a of bye week, the SMU Mustangs taking on another team from the ACC, the Stanford Cardinal. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. Stanford about to tee it up to get this one going. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. The Mustangs offense is on the field for the first time today. And there's a man who believes he is always open. He carries that swag and that aura of a big-time playmaker, guys. He's got to catch the football. If you're the quarterback coming into this one, you are looking for this guy early, and David, you're looking for him often. And this offense better find ways to feature him. Find him, like you said, Jesse, early, often, deep, shallow. Get this man the football. Makes the catch, and he's brought down. Now they'll face third and four in their first possession of the game. Off the play fake. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, an offense you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. And the Mustangs will call on their punt team. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. And the punt team gets down there and gets the return man on the ground. So Stanford's offense will go to work for the first time today. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. Found that space and picked up six out to the 33. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Now the play fake. Unloads to the wideout. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. First one is away. And boy, did he put in work in that loss last week, kicking it five times. The ball pops out on the return. Everybody needs a little luck, and the offense just got it by falling on that fumble. They'll go to the ground. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. He'll try it again. They'll get it to the 48, no need to measure, it's a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll try it on the ground, running the counter. Really important for a ranked team going into a hostile environment like this one, not to give the underdog reason to believe. Yes, reason to believe, and don't give the fans reason to get jacked up and excited. Come out early, be in a business mode mindset. You gotta start fast, you gotta have a sense of urgency. You cannot come sleepwalking into an environment like this, because if you do and you make some mistakes, this crowd will pounce on you and seize momentum. They bring him down, and he's gonna lose a yard on that one. The Mustangs will punt it away on fourth down. Solid punt, headed toward the sideline, trying to make it tough to return. The Stanford offense making its way back onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm, got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. 
Danced his way through traffic, pick up a four to the 19. So third and short from inside the 20. You convert here, and this drive takes on a different complexion. He's right on target. He'll have the first down as he gets it to the 28-yard line before he stops. The give to the back. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. Brought down at the 47-yard line after the 15-yard pickup. This Stanford offense is humming, set up with another first down. The give to the lone running back. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Hold it, hold it, hold it, up and up and up. Just an obvious holding call there, and one that just kills an offense's momentum. From the gun, the running back has it. And a nice, solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. They're about to run a dirty half dozen plays on this drive. The gift to the right. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking downfield, it's Daniels. Feeling some heat. And he just throws it away on third down. I don't think you can give up on a play like that. Stanford lines up to punt it away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. The Mustangs have the ball back and ready to go to work. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Here comes the offense on second down. He'll do it himself. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Fires to the big fella. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. And the Mustangs decide to punt it away. They'll look to pin him deep. And the returner goes down. Offense getting set for first down. Leaves it with the back. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Throws to the wideout. Incomplete, and man, is he lucky to get that one back defense that close to an interception. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Pass on the way, it's picked off! Takes it the other way. Touchdown, SMU! The defense puts six on the board with a big-time interception return. What a play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, we turn to offense. Go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. A lot of eyeballs on your game, guys, and a few on this interesting matchup as well. Purdue is in front. They've led for most of the way. However, Purdue Pete isn't exactly putting this one in the win column just yet. They're up by four over Oregon. We promise to keep you posted on what goes down in this exciting college football matchup. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. And now on second down for this offense. 
Quick pass on the jet motion. They make the stop, and that's how the first quarter will end. That's the end of the period, and SMU has the lead. We put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary. Lots of time left, and we are ready to get back to it and open the second period. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Got his man! He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. The receiver on the jet sweep. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Offense gets set for second down. Looking for a gap. It's Barrow. He's there to make the stop. Third and long from the 42. If they can get some of it, it might give them a chance to go for it on fourth down. Going to take a shot. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. Stanford lines up to punt it away. A high kick. Let's see if he can pin them back deep in their own end. Fair catch, called for and made. The SMU offense is headed back onto the field. They've hit a bit of a lull here, and they need to get things cranked up with this possession, Jesse. Just haven't had a rhythm these last couple of possessions, but I'll tell you, the best way to get back into one is to run the football. Establish yourselves up front at the line of scrimmage and help keep these third downs manageable. Yeah, and the best news is your defense at least forced a punt of their own. So now you can go answer with that good stop while this game is still close. Let's just go keep putting more points on the board, and let's see less of the punt. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. They ran it on first down, now on second. Off the RPO, complete. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Here they come, facing third and long from the 40. Back to throw, it's Stone. Fires to the wide out. Wide open downfield. Now with a great opportunity as they pick up the first down, they've got it at the 40. He'll keep it himself. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Line getting set on second down. They'll try the run. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third down, he drops to throw. Complete downfield. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. The Mustangs will have it first and ten. Unloads to the wideout. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. They're trying to get to it. Another incompletion on third down. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. And they'll kick it from the left side, a 44-yard try. It's good. Easy call for the refs. And that will extend their lead even further. After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Stanford has it back, the Cardinal offense returning to the field. 
The deficit here is just 10 points, David, so a chance to answer here. Plenty of time left in this football game. No need to panic. This offense just has to put a couple drives together. And listen, the defense will get this back and get some stops, Palmer, and get you the football back. And I think, I think here too, David, you have an opportunity to keep the pressure on the opponent. Yeah, they just went down and scored, but you score here, and this game's still tight. You keep their feet to the fire, so an opportunity here to keep applying that pressure. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. Great contact on that ball as it just hangs up in the sky. This is a spot you see many returners try to take a chance, but not this time. Fair catch just inside the 40. Handoff from the gun. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. After the run, second and medium. Looking for a man. It's Stone. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. Throws to the wideout. Another incompletion on third down. And the Mustangs line up to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. The Stanford offense making its way back onto the field. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. Finds his big tight end. And he might be known for one pitch, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. Off play action. Fires to the wideout. Got it in the middle. It's Iowa Manor. Defense caught out of position, and they get him down finally at the 38. Running back searching for a hole. They work that running game down to the 34. Let's give him three on the carry. Got three on first down at second and seven. Leaves it with the running back. Not much room to run. Let's give him one to the 33. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical pass defense. It brings up a fourth down. And here comes the field goal unit. That is no good. The missed field goal leaves us with a double-digit game still sitting at 10. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. He'll pull it on the read. Good pickup on that play. It'll bring up second and four. We've reached the two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. Dropping back, it's Stone. And the pass is incomplete, jarred loose by the hit. Couldn't find his man last time. Now they'll have to convert third and four. From the gun, wants to pass. In the double coverage, and it's intercepted. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Well, I love the job by the coaching staff there defensively, matching the personnel of the offense, putting their dime package out on the field. So you bring out the extra defensive back, you're anticipating a pass. Perfect timing to run that personnel, and you get the pick. Stanford has it back, the Cardinal offense returning to the field. Running out of time here in the first half, and they do have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And so you got to locate your best players and get them the football on this drive. You're down in the game. There's obviously a lot of football left, David, but on this drive, in this two-minute situation, best players got to touch the ball. And, and this could get into pressing mode, right? Like you go into the half, down a couple of scores, it starts to, the pressure really, really mounts. Good opportunity to take some of that pressure off, get some momentum, energize this squad going into halftime. He wants to pass it on second down. Finds his big tight end. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. The snap sets up the throw. 
It's incomplete. He was shooting for the end zone right there. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? He's looking to throw. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. They love to make this short field pay off with a touchdown instead of a field goal, but it's third. And he's got it! Touchdown, Stanford! And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. The AT unit on the field. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Purdue is currently trailing, but this has been a back-and-forth affair. If that quarterback can find a little magic a la Bob Greasy, this might not be over just yet. They're trailing by 10 to Oregon. We'll circle back if anything big happens in this college football matchup. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. A little screen to the running back. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. They're going to keep this drive going. They'll have to make a play on third and long from the 26. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. The Mustangs will try to pin them back with the punt. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. He'll call for the fair catch here. The Stanford offense making its way back onto the field. In modern college football, Jesse, if there's time, there's an opportunity to attack. And I like them being aggressive here, too, guys. Look, they, they practiced this all week long. Now you're in that situation to go out there, have some fun, and let it fly. And defenses are taught to stay deep, play prevent in these situations. So I think you could get a good chunk play and then possibly get a field goal to tack on before half. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. Just enough time for one final play of the half. To the air, it's Daniels. Unloads to the wideout. Complete to the left. Ripping through the defense and getting it all the way down to the 24-yard line. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Never a doubt. And the field goal to end the half takes us to halftime. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Thanks, fellas. Looks like you've had a very enjoyable day there today in Palo Alto. And a really competitive game so far. I'm talking razor-thin margins in the big statistical categories. And while it may be a broken record, turnovers are the name of the game. The team that limits them, the ones that win that turnover margin, generally speaking, are the ones that have the best chance to get that done. With that said, let's send it back to the guys on the farm. And the Mustangs will kick it off to start the second half. He'll start the return inside his five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Stanford has it back. The Cardinal offense returning to the field. First drive of the second half, always fun to watch. You see what type of tweaks were made at the half, especially when you're locked up in a ball game like this one. Yeah, and it's been a good game. I mean, it's been a little bit of back and forth and, and a feeling out process. And now once you get in the second half, who's going to get aggressive on? Who's going to take some shots, try to make some plays, and really go for it? 
Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I think as play callers right now, you learn a lot about these coaching staffs with respect to who does make the best adjustments. There's a lot of coaches that believe we're just going to be who we are. We're going to keep doing what we do. We're just going to do it better. But then there are others that tweak things a little bit on offense and on defense. We're going to find out here. He leaves it with the back. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. The D thinking bring some heat on third and long from the 44. Fires to the big fella. And you got to love the versatility of the big fella. You put him in the box and let him block big defensive linemen, or you put him in the slot and you throw him the football and have success. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. They'll run the RPO and throw it right. And good coverage by the defense. Just a short game. Second down coming up. Give to the back. They knock him down after he picks up five out to the 34. Here on third down for this offense. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. Can't get him to the ground. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive. We'll see if the offense can overcome it. Now they'll run the draw. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. The Mustangs will send out the punt unit. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. Fair catch called for, but a flag is on the field. Let's see what that's about. Kick that kick the field. Field. Kick and kick and kick. Too much contact after the fair catch signal, and it'll cost him here. Three tight ends in the formation on first and ten. One back in the backfield. He gets the carry. And a pickup of eight opens a whirl of opportunities on second and two. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. Back to pass. It's Daniels. Throws toward the end zone. Touchdown, Cardinal! And with that one, they jump on top here in the second half. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. They wasted no time on that drive. Two plays, touchdown, just like that. 17, SMU, 10. And he's going to bring it out. And the returner runs out of real estate as he goes down. The Mustangs have the ball back and ready to go to work. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Really good job making a play, getting it out to the 24 and moving those chains. It's first down from back at their own 24-yard line. Quarterback on the keeper. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. He's back to throw on second down. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. Third down conversions, always a huge stat, and they've got a third and long from the 27. He's got it. Solid work and execution there. They'll have a first down as they mark it at the 40. And the Mustangs have this offense rolling. Defense didn't maintain its discipline there, and they get into the neutral zone. It'll cost them five yards. The offense needed something just anything to give them just a little breathing room and the defense provided it with that penalty wide receiver now comes in motion quick pass on the fly motion really nice stop there from this senior leader now on second down caught behind the line 
It's Bailey. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. The Mustangs have it with a first and ten. Looks as if the defense was a little too eager there, got into the neutral zone, and that'll be a five-yard penalty. Hey, coach, coach, defense, defense. defense a little too eager. That's an encroachment penalty, five yards for the offense. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. And they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Back to pass. It's Stone. Finds the tight end. Tackled after picking up the first down. New set of downs after that completion. Trying to find his man on first down. Pocket starts to collapse. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. How about the defense getting home with the pass rush? Playing man coverage in the back end. You need to win up front. Those guys got to get to the quarterback. Do a great job rushing the passer. I can play man when I got a pass rush like that. So now on second and long, you start to think just don't fall out of field goal range. Here's the handoff. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. They're close enough for a makeable field goal from the 26, but they'd love to convert this third and long. Trying to get to it. And the quarterback will take a sack back at the 36. This offense is going to have to come up with a plan to block this guy. He is an absolute monster, and he showed you all his tools on that sack. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. And he's going to have to get into this football. This is a 53-yard attempt. Field goal is good. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Purdue is getting whooped today. And at some point, this comes down to preparation. Are you prepared to play? Clearly, the answer today is a big, fat no. They're trailing by 19 to Oregon. We've got our eye on this one and everything else going on throughout the day, guys. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. He picks up maybe a couple before he stopped right at the 30-yard line. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Looking to throw, it's Daniels. He's got his man. They'll mark him down at the 40 after ripping off 10. The offense lines up at the 40. They've got a first down. Single back formation, and they give it to him. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He's looking to throw. Quickly out to the tight end. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. And first down for the offense. At the end of the quarter, it is Stanford holding the edge. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. Wide receiver shows motion. To the ground with the back. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. This offense could not have executed in this situation any better, just draining some time off the clock. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Oh, no, the ball popped out. This could change things. Oh, the offensive first absolute disaster by falling on that fumble. Well, the offense is able to avoid disaster right there. Problem is they fumbled it, but thankfully they were able to jump back on and not have a turnover.
the Cardinal will have to boot it away. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. A sky-high punt. Perhaps feeling that coverage coming signals for the fair catch and makes it at the 25. The SMU offense is headed back onto the field. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. Good, solid run on that one as he gets it up to the 33-yard line. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. They'll run play action. And the defense gets to the quarterback. This defense, they are tenacious, and they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong and can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play action. They come to the line facing third and long from the 25. Looking to pass. It's Stone. Gets open down the middle. He just didn't have a chance to get loose and make his way to that first down mark. I think fans get upset sometimes. Like, run your route past the sticks so we get the first down. But nice job by the defense understanding where the sticks were and forcing the fourth down. The Stanford offense making its way back onto the field. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over, bud. It's complete. A huge pickup. And chunk plays are the name of the game. And they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. They'll run it. And I think they'll give him two on that one. Second and eight coming up. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. Power football with the run. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Almost intercepted, and what a momentum swing that could have been, but they still force a fourth down. Stanford lines up to punt it away. He'll try to really get into this one. He won't be able to return this one as it goes out of bounds. The Mustangs have the ball back and ready to go to work. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. And he's lucky to get that one back. His junior quarterback knows better than to try that too often. Second down after that incompletion. He's looking to throw. It's incomplete, and he's lucky to get that one back. Almost intercepted. They've made third down offense a key. It'll be tested on third and long from the 28. Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical pass defense. It brings up a fourth down. Trying to play a little field position with that high, high punt. That's usually prime return position, but he'll make the fair catch just outside the 40. Stanford has it back. The Cardinal offense returning to the field. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. And there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. To the ground to try to move the chains. They knock him down, but he gets enough to give Stanford a first down. Offense in a bunch formation. Looking to move it through the air. Little too much juice on that one from the junior. Now on second down. To the air, it's Daniels. The throw to the outside is complete. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Shotgun snap on third down. Throws to the wideout. Almost intercepted. And what a momentum swing that could have been. But they still force a fourth down. Stanford lines up to punt it away. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. The 
the SMU offense is headed back onto the field. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. This offense has a second down play. They'll run it from the gun. May not be the most memorable play of the day, but it's important as he gets them out to the 25-yard line. Goes to the option. Quick toss. Perfectly timed on that pitch, and they pick up the first down on the play. And the Mustangs will snap it on first and 10. Out of the gun, the inside give. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short gain. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. From the gun, running back on the move. Continuing to turn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. We have reached the two-minute warning, and time is of the essence if this offense is going to make a play. Setting up the screen. Great job in this two-minute drill as he gets out of bounds, keeping the clock on their side as they're trying to pull it out. Looking downfield, it's Stone. Quickly complete. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game, now on second down. He's looking to throw. And he can't get it off. Taken down. What a huge play this late in the game. That's a play the defense needed, right? It's been a battle all game long. Here we are. It's late. Everybody's tired. They've given up a few yards on this drive, but they come away with a huge sack at a big moment. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Grabbed in the middle, it's Hudson. Oh, look out, the ball's free. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. Man, you talk about all the excitement, emotion. You're about to go take the lead in this ball game, and then you fumble and turn the football over, and now you need help. Now I need my defense to go out and somehow get me this football back after squandering that opportunity. Stanford offense making its way back onto the field. So that defense keeps the lead right where it is and a chance to build on it, David. Yeah, the defense did a great job. Now the offense, you know what you're going to get from this defense. They have to be aggressive. They're trying to get the football back later in the game, Jesse. Because they're going to be so aggressive too, David, you know on offense now you have a chance to break one maybe in the run game or finding a one-on-one -on -one matchup in the passing game to really pad the lead. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. This is where you make the money on the drive. Ball at the 30, it's third and short. Smart move to keep it on the ground. And they did not let him get to that first down line. It'll bring up a call here. The Cardinal will have to boot it away. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Looking for a block, it's Smith. He was able to get that ball up to the 48-yard line before he stopped on the return. They're gonna throw it to start the drive. And to get rid of it quickly. Just couldn't find an open man. He'll get rid of it and it'll be second down. They've got to move quickly here. Still a chance, but they've got to force the ball down the field. Fires to the wideout. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. Looking for a man. It's Stone. Unloads to the wideout. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free. And fourth down is coming up. Desperate to convert and he'll throw it. Got it past the marker. 
And not much of a fourth down gamble when it's that much of a sure thing, an easy conversion for this offense. And they'll spike the ball to try to save as much time as they can. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Unleashes one deep. It's incomplete, and the last chance is just out of reach, and that's going to do it. You're going to hear guys after this game say, got to work harder, got to be more intense. You know, sometimes the harder you try, the worse it gets. And it seemed to me that's what happened out there today. Yeah, it just never really got into a rhythm for this team. There's no doubt they've got a lot of very talented players on both sides of the ball. So, David, I don't think this is a situation where they need to now freak out and try to reinvent things on either side of the football. Just being in better rhythm early and trying to find that in their next game, I think, would go along. Yeah, and it's just finding a couple of those plays. What, what do I do really, really well? Let's continue to build on that. Let's take away these negative plays. Let's take away these turnovers. How do we create more turnovers? I think that rhythm you're talking about, Jesse, finding those things that I do well, building on them, and doing more of them. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.